Today we are back with a landscape dealership on the Nebraska Lands USA map. Today we will be adding new inventory including compact tractors, snow plows, and some other equipment. Over the last few days I have made some organization changes here to a lot. Let's take a walkthrough of those before we get going. The first thing I want to take a look at is our showroom. I was able to get a few mowers and a few other things inside. Inside the showroom we now have a walker mower, a bobcat walk behind, and on the other side we do the skag leaf blower along with a John Deere stand on. Now I do want to try to put a bobcat in here, but it's pretty cool that at least we could have some uh, equipment inside. Another few things I did was kind of rearrange this row over here. Some of them went inside while some of them uh, is going into storage. So we have this big uh, storage area here, which will also be for repairing equipment. We do need to get some equipment lifts, some toolboxes, things like that in the coming weeks. But over here to the right hand side, I just kind of tucked away some equipment. Uh, since we do already have a few of these out on the lot, no need to have all of them. And it might be even better to keep some back here. We will be using the ram here today to kind of move around all the snow plows. We'll be getting plows such as Fisher, Western Boss, and a few other, even some cheaper brands as well. Earlier this morning, we did have some new tractors already arrive here. We do have the Kubota Compact in the John Deere 1025R, so let's kind of put these out front. Now, I did spec these uh, very similar, just one without uh, the loader, one with, and this looks pretty cool. Definitely would like to spec them with the back, a uh, hoe attachment, and a few others. Let's get going on moving these over. You guys have shown a lot of positive feedback and support for the landscape store and I think we'll be calling it Midwest Landscape. I think that will be an overall pretty neat name for it. And we'll switch over here. Let's do the quotas first. Really do like these without the cab and we do offer the little bit bigger tractors with the cab as well. The goal here with this store is to be the one-stop shop for all of our companies that are local and other companies uh, to come in and buy all their equipment from uh, the machines to the attachments to also uh, the trailers. This summer I definitely want to completely redo the uh, 1025R and the Kubota and release them too. These will be pretty awesome out front. Now these will more than likely sell within the next few days. They're just pretty popular. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day has been a bit busy with schoolwork, but it's nice to be back here recording videos. It's a great passion, great hobby of mine, and I really look forward to making these videos every day. So we got all of those. Up next, let's hop here into the store, and we are actually going to be getting an excavator as well. But before we do that, I want to get this small John Deere skid steer. I think this will be pretty cool to have. And let's see, what other skid steers do we want? I think also uh, we will be buying a, a John Deere here but with the snow tires perfect uh, so we'll leave this one right over there until uh, we do the, the uh, plows up next we'll do the uh, excavator just the uh, basic features on the excavator since it's going to be a bit pricey and I think we'll just put it right next to the wheel loader now I did get a few offers here we are negotiating this and this with two potential customers which is good to hear now I think it would be pretty cool to actually open up the series to you guys uh, to come in and kind of act as customers and buy equipment. I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do. So this is a uh, much smaller skid steer. Definitely good for kind of those smaller jobs and uh, better than uh, using a shovel by hand. Right out front of the store over here, I do want to put some snow plowing equipment, uh, such as the V plow, and I do want to get sanders and salters. Those will be a bit tricky to get, uh, but those will be coming. Let's move the excavator here. I don't really want to uh, 
kind of go through the arms and everything like that and we'll uh, kind of leave it without the bucket the bucket will be in the back that way it doesn't sit and collect water and rust out the uh, bucket And that seems to be good right about there. Let's come over here now and buy some plowing equipment. But before we do that, I do want to check really quickly. I believe that I did add a truck. Looks like I actually did not, which is okay. Let's come over here. We'll buy a few Western wideouts. We'll kind of buy a few of each brand. Different options as well. We will buy, let's see, we'll buy a few Fisher. We'll buy the Boss V Plow here. Now, I actually want it with the wings and I want it in stainless steel. So, we'll do the stainless and then we'll do one powder coated because the stainless is a few thousand dollars more and we want it uh, to be that any of our customers. There we go. That looks awesome. So, we have the poly, the stainless for that, and let's do the same for the Boss Skid Plow. We'll do one in stainless with the wings and one without. Let's see, so we'll do stainless and let's take the wings off and do a regular. And let's see, do we have a different color we could use? Perfect. And we do also have this plow. It is a little bit cheaper. It's a different brand, uh, but we still have that as well. Perfect. And looks like we do have everything. Now this uh, skid steer does have snow tires on it, which will go right along with uh, the plow for it, which is going to be nice. That's kind of why I configured this. Now I actually want this one out front. I think that this will probably sell quickly, this setup. I definitely want to put these snow tires on the skid steers and on other ones as well so that uh, we could kind of do much better because they, this really does help out with traction. I've noticed that a lot, especially plowing uh, recently. Now I actually think it would be pretty cool to do a video plowing out our landscapes uh, store. We have a ton of equipment. It would be uh, cool to kind of shovel them out, move them around and really get the lots cleared up. Now any duplicates of the plows I will actually just kind of put inside that way uh, they are kind of out of the weather. Yeah so we'll put one in Western Wideouts, one uh, Fisher inside and I want to put, let's see, I want to put the V plow out front, the stainless steel V uh, boss we'll put out front. I'd like to thank all of you guys for the continued support here on the daily videos. I really do enjoy uploading every single day. It's a great hobby and it's a lot of fun. And I do post every single day on Instagram as well if you guys want to check me out over there. Let's see if we can get that angled right. That seems to be pretty good there. It's kind of the best we can do with, uh, with the uh, positioning there. Oh yeah, that looks so cool out front. Coming up here in some videos, we will also uh, be doing uh, some things like dropping off equipment, picking up ones that do need to be repaired, things like that uh, we will also be doing. Let's see, I want to put one kind of right out front like that. And I think we will hold off on some of the other ones. Uh, that's uh, just a lot of moving uh, with the truck. I will probably do that off camera. But I do want to buy a few more Bobcats. We did get some requests for some different specifications as well. So let's come over here to Bobcat. We'll get all of the features. Just I want the different uh, kind of wheels on it was what they asked. And we'll get four weights. And let's see. I think we'll get the uh, airless tires. We actually got a customer that uh, said that if we did the airless, they will actually come by and pick it up. And let's take a quick look here. I believe under trucks, I did actually add a few in as well. I do want this truck here just because of the salter in the back. I think it will be a nice thing to kind of showcase to our clients is uh, that uh, we do have salters. And a lot of the salters really 
uh, can only be seen uh, on trucks. So that's kind of a tricky thing. Hopefully I could kind of put a salter on a pallet and I think that would fix that problem there. This is a pretty big salter here for the truck, but it's uh, well worth it. Actually, I think what would be a pretty cool idea is to put the other uh, skid steer plow on that bobcat we just bought. And yeah, let's put this one on it. I actually would like to park that right outside this garage door and since it's big uh, we could uh, make it work here as well. Now I do have a lot more dealerships I definitely want to return to, do some updates, get more inventory, new cool things for them, but also I do have some new ones that I want to do. But this truck here with uh, this uh, plow just looks awesome. I actually want to leave the plow up uh, even though it's probably not the best for the suspension. I think that just looks so so cool and let's hop there in the skid steer and I think uh, that will conclude today it's been a pretty long day here getting some pretty expensive things such as the uh, compact tractors but look at that four weights on the back now I have noticed as well the weights do assist with the handling now we do have a small three four part video series coming of a construction job I'm currently just doing the final touches there on uh, the idea and the equipment needed for it and I think we'll probably start that on Monday that way you guys have three days in a row and we get to finish that job next week I think we'll angle this plow here I really want this one out front so I think right about there seems to be good it's been a busy day here for us at the store. We got the showroom all set up and we got to add a lot of cool equipment. All of these tractors here, a lot of plows, and I can't wait for what's to come. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one and subscribe for more.